What is wrong with Washington? What is wrong with politicians who can't seem to keep us from shutting down as a government, or at least once we've shut down, get us reopened and get people back to work? The truth is, there isn't that much that regular folks like you and me can do about this. Not now, anyway. Come next election, there's plenty we can do about it, if we really are serious about getting a better class of politicians. In the meantime, though, can we watch what these people are doing on Capitol Hill and learn from their bad example? We have politicians who love to play the blame game as a way of not finding real solutions. It's so much easier to point to what the other side is doing, and it doesn't matter if you're a conservative doing it to liberals or liberals doing it to conservatives, Democrats to Republicans or Republicans to Democrats. On each side, they simply fire their charges at what's wrong with them, as opposed to asking how we, whoever the we is, could actually help contribute to a solution. We, as the electorate, have to decide that we are done rewarding people who play this game, who stake out extreme positions and then defend them no matter what the human cost, whether it is in government or faith communities or anything else, even in personal relationships, when doctrine and dogma get in the way of addressing the real pain that people are feeling, something is terribly wrong. That doesn't mean we have to give up our integrity or our most deeply held views and can always do whatever someone else asks of us. It does mean, though, that whatever traditions we love, political, religious, or otherwise, we can almost always find more solutions than we first imagined if we actually dare to believe that the finding of answers, the seeking of solutions, and the solving of problems is a sacred teaching. That in fact we are not compromised when we reach beyond pre-existing lines, but in fact as followers of great traditions, the reaching of reaching beyond those lines is actually what makes us great. The ability to find the solutions we need in the traditions we love. That's what makes us great. That compromise is not in fact a dirty word. Being compromised, maybe, but compromise is actually a statement that the person in front of us is at least as important as the doctrine inside of us. Actually, feeling that way about them better be one of the central doctrines inside of us, or whatever tradition we follow is not only going to shut down government, it's going to shut down our institutions religiously and spiritually and it'll probably shut down the most important relationships in our lives. It's no way to go, and we certainly don't need to go there. What we need to do is turn the corner, find the principal place of compromise, and seek the solutions that we can contribute to wherever and whenever we can. And whatever they look like at the end, they will certainly be better than what we're getting out of Washington today.